Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. First I want to start this video by saying I'm really sorry. It's been a month or so since I've uploaded my last video. There's just been so much going on. It's been so crazy. First of all, I got really sick and literally couldn't get out of bed for about two weeks with the flu. It just hit me really hard. The weather's starting to change here in Australia. It's starting to go into winter and I just got hit with this really bad cold and I just had no energy. I couldn't do anything. I was just so tired and sleepy all the time. So. That was one reason and the other reason is I'm at uni at the moment and I just had so many assignments due at the same time that I literally had no time to film which was really annoying for me because I absolutely love filming and makeup and beauty is my passion and I would absolutely love this to be my full time career one day. But at the moment I am still studying at uni so that had to come first at the time which really sucks but I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm definitely back on filming regularly and I'll be uploading at least one video a week if not two if I can manage. So keep a look out for some new videos coming very soon. So since I've missed out on a few videos I couldn't not do my March favourites just because favourites videos I do them every month. They're one of my favourite videos to watch and to do myself so I definitely wanted to do that for you guys and my next video will be a makeup tutorial and then I've got some other videos lined up after that so all these products I'm going to mention today I have been using them throughout March and the past couple of weeks I just haven't been able to film with them so I still wanted to talk about them today just to let you guys know my thoughts on these and some of them are new products, some of them are products I've just been loving that I've used for a while now so I wanted to include those in this video as well so this is probably going to be a longer intro than normal, so I think I'll just jump straight into the video. If you'd like to see all my favourite beauty products for the month of March, then please keep watching. Okay, so first what I want to talk about, I am such a fan of MAC Fix Plus, and when they brought back the Scents Permanent, I was beyond excited. My favourite two is Coconut and Lavender. I just love the scents of these. They just make you feel so relaxed and the coconut one makes you feel like you're at the beach or on a tropical holiday and the lavender one is just so peaceful and calming. I can't get enough of these. Fix Plus is one of the products that I use all the time to finish my makeup. It gives a really nice glowing look to the skin. It keeps my skin hydrated, being more dry. So I've been loving the MAC Fix Plus in the two scents of coconut and lavender. Next is a relatively new primer that I've been trying out and I've really, really loved using this one. It's from Benefit. It's the new Pore Professional. This is the Pearl Primer. So the original one is amazing. I absolutely love that for smoothing out my pores. This one does the same except it has more of a glowing pearl finish to it, which I really love. So I've been using this one quite a lot as my primer recently, so I had to include it in this video. Next up is a drugstore foundation I've been using so much, I haven't been able to get enough of it. And it's from Wet n Wild and this is the Photo Focus Foundation. Mine is in the colour Golden Beige. I absolutely love this foundation. I'm wearing it today. I'm pretty much wearing all of these products I'm mentioning today just so you guys can kind of see how they look on my skin because like I said I haven't been able to do a video for a little while on a makeup tutorial using these products but I'm definitely going to be doing that. So I just thought I'd wear them today so you could see how they look. But this one... I just absolutely love it. It's very close to my all-time favourite Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, but it's very close. It's up there. I'm really, really loving this one. It just makes my skin look beautiful. It has more of a medium coverage, so it covers really well, but it doesn't feel too heavy. I've been getting crazy breakouts recently. It's probably all the stress with uni and work and not being able to film videos, but I've been getting breakouts, especially along my hairline here, on my chin, which is a usual spot for me, and on my forehead. and. This just covers it beautifully without making it look more obvious. So I just really love this foundation from Wet n Wild. Next up is a concealer, which is also a drugstore version. I've been loving drugstore products recently. And this is the one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. And the name is definitely correct. This is full coverage. This is supposedly a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And I have to agree with that because I've tried it out and... It's the most full coverage drugstore concealer I've ever used, so if you're looking for that really full coverage, like brightens your eyes, covers everything, covers breakouts on the skin, this is the concealer you need to get. I've been loving this one. The shade I used today was C5, and I used it under the eyes, down the center of my face, and also to cover any breakouts, and it just works really well. It's more of that creamy consistency. It's not too liquidy, so the coverage is amazing with this, so I would definitely recommend trying this Makeup Revolution Concealer. 
Next up is another product from Wet n Wild I've really been enjoying and this is one of their contour sticks and this one is in the shade Call Me Maple. This is such a beautiful contour stick. I really love sticks to use for contouring, especially if it's a cream product. It's just so easy to apply straight onto the skin and it blends out beautifully. There's no patchiness, there's no streaking, it just looks beautiful and you can build up the colour that you want if you just want a really natural looking bronze look or if you want that more intense contour this is amazing so I'm gonna have to use this in a video for you guys because I'm not sure I have yet but I've been using it a lot during the month of March okay for bronzer I've been using this one non-stop and it is from Too Faced and this is a relatively new one from their chocolate gold collection this is the Too Faced chocolate gold soleil gilded bronzer and this is just so beautiful especially this packaging like how pretty is that and so this is what the bronzer looks like it is more of a shimmer finish but I find it doesn't look too shimmery on my skin I am wearing it today and it just gives that beautiful bronzed glow to the skin. It looks beautiful. It does have a bit of a sheen to it and it just looks really subtle though. It looks very natural. So I love this bronzer and it smells, oh my God, it smells like heaven. It smells like chocolate. It's so amazing. So this has been one of my favorite bronzers to use recently. Next up is blush and I've literally been using the same blush for so long now since I got this one a couple of weeks ago in March and I've just been loving it. It's from Jouer and this is one of the blush duos and this one is called Adore and the packaging on this is just so pretty. I can't get over it. It just looks so stunning. So in this palette here you get this beautiful peachy toned blush and it's more of a highlight toned shade here with a bit of shimmer. This colour I'm obsessed with. It's been my go-to blush pretty much every day that I've worn makeup. I use this colour. I just find it so versatile it suits any makeup look I'm doing and it just gives that beautiful flush of peach to the cheeks which is what I prefer in a blush colour. So I've been loving using this Jouer blush palette. Next up is another blush and from MAC Cosmetics I have absolutely fallen in love with the Extra Dimension collection. I absolutely love the formula. I really loved the highlighters when they first came out and since they released blushes not too long ago I've been trying some of those out and I just absolutely love them. So the colour I've been really loving from MAC is this one here called Just a Pinch. Such a beautiful light orange coral tone blush and it has that shift of gold in it if you can see that. It's so beautiful. I love adding this on the cheeks for just that little bit of colour. It gives off that gold reflection so it's almost like a blush and highlighter in one. It's so, so pretty. I've been using this so much in summer here in Australia and I'm so sad that it's going into winter but I'm still definitely going to be using this blush because it's so beautiful. And speaking about the MAC Extra Dimension collection, I've been using these two highlighters non-stop recently so I wanted to include them in my video. It's these two here. The first one here is called Beaming Blush. I'm wearing this one on my cheeks today and the second one here is called Double Gleam. So Beaming Blush is this beautiful pink gold reflect colour and it just looks absolutely beautiful. I've got it on my skin today. You can see when I move in the light, it reflects gold, but it also has this kind of pink undertone to it. It's so pretty. I find I can wear this colour when I'm more tanned or when I'm more fair, so it complements both. And I just love it. The formula is so creamy, just looks intense and beautiful on the skin. So if you like that more intense glowing highlight look, you need to try some of these MAC Extra Dimension highlighters. And the next shade here, Double Gleam, is more of a light champagne gold colour. This one is stunning. Like I said, I love the formula and this one just gives off that more of a lighter gold tone on the skin. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Moving on to some eye products. First, I have a new eyebrow pencil I've been using recently and I've really been loving it. And it is this one here from Maybelline. This is the Total Temptation Brow Definer. I have mine in the color 315 Deep Brown. I will say I'm not a big fan of the little spoolie brush that comes with it. I just find that's like so incredibly tiny and it doesn't really work to kind of lift my brows up. It's more soft, not kind of hard like the spoolie brushes I'm used to. So not a huge fan of the brush, but I am loving the actual brow product here. And as you can see, it's like more of an angled shape and it just glides perfectly into the brows. It has really good pigment to it. Like you don't need to go over it that many times. Like a few little strokes in your brows and you're done pretty much. It's very quick and easy to use. So I've been loving using this brow pencil. Next up is a new mascara I bought about a month and a half ago now and I've just fallen in love with it. It's been one of my favourite mascaras to use and it is this one here by L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I know I'm very late to the game with this one but I think I mentioned it in the haul video where I purchased this one that here in Australia we didn't actually get this style of mascara from L'Oreal. It was a slightly different one so I wanted to get it 
because I heard so many good things about it. So I picked it up on an American website when it was on sale. So I decided to get this one and I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love it. The packaging, first of all, is very, very beautiful. But the wand here is so amazing. It reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex. But the brush hairs are a little bit shorter. And just perfect for giving lots of volume to your lashes and making them curl and elongate at the same time. So I've been loving wearing this mascara from L'Oreal throughout the month of March. Next up is some eyeshadows. And this brand, I have to say, is so underrated. And I'm so glad I picked up these palettes because I absolutely love them. They are from Juvia's Place and... I don't know if I'm saying that name right, it might be Juvia's Place or Juvia's Palace, <laughs> but these are absolutely beautiful. First of all, the colours of the palettes are stunning. The first one here is called the Nubian, and the second one here is called the Saharan. So first of all, this is the Nubian palette, and isn't this just every girl's warm eyeshadow palette dream? Like, <laughs> these colours are stunning, but I really love that there's some nice cranberry tones, some deeper browns, and some nice shimmers in here as well. This is just like the perfect warm eyeshadow palette. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, like so incredibly pigmented. They blend out beautifully on their eyes. I am wearing a mixture of them today on my eyes and they look amazing. So I'm really happy I got these palettes and I've been using them quite a lot in the last month or two. And this is the second palette here, the Saharan. And this one just has a little bit more brighter colors in it, like this blue green here. You've got this beautiful bright orange. I love this red shade up here and the bright gold. I could create so many different looks with this palette and these shades are so beautiful. And like I said, the other palette, pigmentation is amazing. I'm gonna do some swatches so you guys can see. So those are some swatches from that palette. Like, look at that, how amazing. The shimmer shades look like foiled eyeshadows. They are so pigmented and smooth and the matte shades are just full of pigment and they're not chalky or powdery at all. So I'm in love with these palettes from Juvia's Place. And next up is some lip products that I've been loving. I purchased these ones about two months ago and I've just been finding myself wearing them a lot. I'm not usually a big fan of gloss, but these glosses I got, I've just loved them. They're so opaque and you can wear them on their own or even just over a bit of lip liner or a little bit of lipstick as well. So I've been loving them. The first ones I have are from Kylie Cosmetics and I got the glosses in the shade Literally and Coco K. Literally is literally like your perfect nude shade. It's a little bit of a pinky brown undertone. It just looks so beautiful. And then Coco K is just that perfect pale pink tone. So I've been wearing these non-stop here in summer. I just love the look of glossy lips with natural bronzed makeup. So these two I've been getting a lot of use out of. And this next lip combination I've been wearing so much and I'm wearing it on my lips today. I absolutely love it. They are two products from Becca. The first one here is one of their Lush Lip Color Balms. This one is in the color Chai Cream. And then on the top, I'm wearing one of the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Glosses. And this one is in the shade Champagne Dream times Bellini. This is just such a beautiful soft pink with a bit of gold gloss to it. And the lip balm is a beautiful, it's like a brown tone, but it comes out really soft looking being a lip balm. So this just keeps my lips feeling nice and moisturized and glossy throughout the day with the gloss on top. And I just absolutely love this combination together. I'm wearing it today and it goes with so many different makeup looks. So I've been loving these two throughout the month of March. Okay, so those are all of my favorite beauty products for the month of March. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.